Welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to look at how your person is feeling, thinking, and what they want to say to you. Okay, so pick a deck, and that's pile number one. It's pile number two, and I will do your reading. Okay, that's the green one for pile number one, and that is that blue one okay so if you want to pause the video take a deep breath just go with the first one like your first instinct first intuition kind of thing and pick okay so we're going to start with pile number one so let me put these okay so pile number one let's see what your person what's going on with your person how do they feel about you what are they thinking and then we'll see what they want to say to you okay we've got the king of wands oh the ace of wands we got judgment. Okay, there's a lot of fire energy. A lot, oh, a lot of fire energy. I'm not going to take those. A lot of fire energy. So there's a lot of, your person's definitely thinking about you. And I'm talking, there's that wand. <laughs> They're waiting to use that wand. I'm not going to lie. This person's heavily thinking, but they are weighing you know they're kind of like hmm i don't know don't know what i should do don't know oh there's a lot of passion jesus christ pile number one talk about fire a lot of aries leo sagittarius that's what i'm picking up here your person sees you as <laughs> the queen of wands a lot of passion attraction you're somebody very impulsive you just know what you fucking want and you go out and get it and this is how your person sees you um a lot of attraction i do feel that they're a bit weighing their pros and cons here they still haven't made some sort of decision that's what i'm getting from this card they wait you know they're very indecisive between their heart and their mind do i do i not um but <laughs> look at that wand I mean, yeah, pile number one, there's a lot, a lot of attraction and a lot of happiness too. Now, I want to know if there's more to this, okay? So, what is it that this person actually feels? I want a bit more feeling-wise. Feeling. There's hope. They're a little bit imbalanced. They're kind of like, hmm, there could be more here. I feel it's a very sexual connection. Very sexual they want a relationship, like a solid kind of commitment here. They want to offer the stability. This is kind of long term. This person sees you as long term. Um, want you to come in. And... Okay, what I'm picking up for a lot of you guys, for pile number one, this is very much a sexual kind of situation chip going on okay not gonna lie i do feel that this person is already in a relationship or married just saying possibly waiting for we got the justice card possibly waiting for a divorce maybe not okay and this is why they are a little bit no contact a little bit withdrawn and maybe they can just offer you the wand at the moment because they are waiting for things to kind of you know, sort things out in the home. This could also represent family problems, family issues. It's not always necessarily a marriage, um, but this could, yeah. Um, then they'll come in and kind of, you know, offer something more solid because they do want to come in and offer a bit more commitment. Okay, let me see. How does this person, what do they want to say? Let's see. What do they want to say to pile number one? What do they want to say to pile number one? What is it that they want to say to pile number one? What do they want to say? They want to say that, bitch, I'm falling apart here. 
I don't know what to do. My life's turned completely upside down. Shit has gone down. I don't know what to think. I don't know how to approach. I don't know what to do. Do I go? Do I stay? This person's falling apart completely. And they want you to know that they are falling apart, basically, is what they want you to know. Um, I'm very confused. I've got so many blocks. There's so much in my head. I don't know what to do. Clearly. One more spirit. Can you please be patient with me? Okay, that's basically the message. Bottom of the deck, you already know what the hell's going on. You ain't stupid, Biarch. You know. You know what's going on. And you know that this is... <laughs> Uh, it's not really enough you're getting a bit bored of it i mean the cup is there but you know you you don't really have it a lot of strength is required in this connection you know you do you but pile number one it looks like it's a bit complicated um at the moment but yeah that was your reading okay so now we're going to do pile number two you pick the, the blue crystal. Let's see what's going on with your person. How does your person see you? How do they see pile number two? How do they see pile number two? Let's see. Pile number two. Ace of Swords, Four of Cups, the Sun. Oh. Okay, I think they think you're a little bit all over the place. <laughs> Not gonna lie. The Two of Wands, the Moon. the lovers Ooh, bottom of the deck we've got the devil um now this person sees you okay there's a very strong attraction connection bond whatever the fuck you want to call it okay very 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 strong this is one of those connections that when things are good they're absolutely amazing but when they're not they can be equally just as bad um, you know, things are all right, but there's always some issue. Well, it is what it is. I feel that this person f sees you as they as a closed book. Um, they feel that you're hiding something from them. They feel that you're not really showing your true colors, that you are, you haven't told them everything. You haven't opened up completely just yet. Um, and they, they find it very, very, very difficult to accept this kind of feeling that they are and the happiness that you can they feel with you so that they, they sometimes see you as maybe this is too good to be true this is a bit of an illusion here um is this really enough for me is this love really for me oh no i don't want it you know this can't possibly be for me um they i feel that they also see you as somebody who's very can be very I don't want to say cold, but very airy, okay? You just say what you need to say, you know what I mean? There's no mincing your words. You can come across a bit cold and, you know, um, but overall, they're a bit like, Jesus, I can't believe this person, you know, in a good way, in a good way, okay? Um, let's see how they feel about you. How do they feel about pile number two? How do they feel about pile number two, Spirit? That pile number two. Awakening. Hmm, they're still not quite there. They are still awakening to this idea of you. Is this real? Is this not? There's a lot of ego going on here. Um, they do they do worry about what other people think. Um why is one of the magician? Um Bottom of the deck, hidden energy, we've got the Empress. So there is a very strong feeling here, but I feel that this is a bit of a burden for them. I can't help but feel that, you know, this is very, oh, I don't know if I can do this. 
Um, there's still so much that I need to do. There's so much I need to learn. There's still so much I want to do in my life. I feel that they feel like you do acknowledge them a lot and do things for them and make them feel like they are the center of your of your world and they can and they see we got a bit of wish for you know i i'm not sure how to feel about feelings i'm not getting feelings i'm getting more admiration um more what you're giving them rather than how they actually feel about you do you know what i mean i'm not seeing strong feelings here um let's see what they want to say to you person want to say to part number two spirit i feel this person's trapped there could be some sort of i'm trapped I'm, I'm dealing with some sort of mental health issues past addictions of some sort is kind of what they're saying you know there's just this person's very very trapped um, I'm picking up a heavy kind of addiction. This could be mental health issues, obsession, or they're just really obsessed. But there's something here to do with the past. So they want you to know that they're a little bit messed up due to something here in um, in their past. And they are dealing with a lot, a lot of pain here. Um, is this why they don't feel? Because I'm not picking them up feeling anything, you know, loving towards. Yeah, they have, they're very closed off hermit and that is why yeah just protecting themselves um but i do feel there are feelings behind all of this bottom of the deck is kind of like saying to you even though i'm going through all of this i've gone through so much but i do love you i do have feelings for you you know i'm just a stubborn me 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 you know what i mean <laughs> um so yeah that was your reading um i hope you guys enjoyed it um I don't know what else to say. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.